Hi, my name is Amalie. I'm a PhD student at DTU Chemistry. My PhD project is a part of a larger project called BioValue, where we look into the conversion of biomass into value-added products. What is biomass? Well, biomass is organic matter. It can be trees, or grass, and if we take a closer look, we can see that it consists of smaller cells. In the cell wall, uh, we find three major components. What we want to do is that we want to isolate these three major components, for example, cellulose, and then break it down into smaller units like glycose. Uh, and these smaller units can then be converted into different platform molecules like HMF, which can be further converted into different HMF derivatives. These derivatives have proven useful in the polymer and the fuel industry. You can obtain glycol aldehyde by the degradation of glycose. Glycol aldehyde consists, just like HMF, of an aldehyde and an alcohol moiety. So my project is to convert glycol aldehyde into different glycolic compounds by oxidation. The first uh, focus is on the uh, oxidation of glycol aldehyde into glycolic acid. So glycolic acid is used in many different industries. For example, the polymer of glycolic acid is used in the medical industry as a self-absorbable -absorb suture in operations, in, as a food preservative, uh, in the cosmetic industry for anti-aging products and acidic peelings, and in the dye industry. So to do this reaction, we need a catalyst. And we want to embed this catalyst on a solid support for easier separation which means we can keep the catalyst in the solid phase and then the uh, reaction in the liquid phase goes through the filtration filter. This is a picture of one of the catalysts I've used. You can see the metal nanoparticles embedded on a solid support. This is a simpler illustration. So the glycol aldehyde goes in and reacts on the metal nanoparticles and we want to get glycolic acid out. To do this, we need some sort of oxygen source, for example, air or water or oxygen gas. When oxygen gas is present, this reaction is possible. However, it can also overoxidize, and we get some overoxidized byproducts. So we need to find a catalyst that stops the reaction here. We can also target the alcohol, uh, alcohol moiety, which would also lead to different byproducts. So we also need to find a catalyst that can uh, selectively oxidize the aldehyde over the alcohol moiety. So my project is to find a heterogeneous catalyst that can selectively oxidize glycol aldehyde into glycolic acid. 